Hi there, it's Phil Binks here. I'm going to tell you today a bit more about how to install the Remote Keypad and Numpad Pro app. Uh, this is the application that you would be able to install on your iPad or your iPhone. It's available on the App Store, of course. But there's actually an Android version, but I'm not covering that. It's the same thing, really, but uh, I'm a Mac man, so this is why I'm going to be covering that for you. If you want to use it on the Android devices, I'm sure you're going to be able to get some good advice from me and watching this anyway. The application icon is available just here. You can see that that's what you're going to be looking for. I'm going to show you how to find that in the App Store and then how to install. There's a remote helper app that is required so that you can use this wirelessly between your iPad and whichever Mac computers you have on your network. Also, as I say, it is available on your iPhone as well. And the iPad and the iPhone synchronize, so your keypad layout looks exactly the same between the two. And you can have multiple keypads and support multiple Mac computers. So without any further ado, let's have a look at the iPad and take you to the App Store to get you um, to download it. There's a link in the description of this video. So if you're looking on an iPhone or an iPad and you want to download it, just follow that link. Firstly, what I'm going to do is just show you uh, a screen. This is my current screen that I've got for the remote keypad application. Um, it's not the default screen and you'll see the default screens on, on the keyboard uh, as I go through it. So let's quickly take you to the application on the iPad so you can see where I'm going. So I'm going to switch to my iPad screen. So I'm now looking at the App Store and I can just touch and look for what I suggest is you type remote and then keypad, K-E-Y-P-A-D. It will come up hopefully in your searches and it's the one that says Remote Keypad and Numpad Pro. So I'm going to be touching the Remote Keypad and Numpad Pro button at the bottom there. The reason that I'm going for the Remote Keypad and Numpad Pro version is because that is the one that allows you to customize the keyboards. So that's what we're really going to do. You can go for the free version, which gives you a number pad and a very limited uh, keypad with arrows up and down, that kind of thing, but very limited copy paste. But in order to make the most of this software, pay the small amount of money. I haven't shown you the price because obviously there'll be changes and wherever you're watching from this in the world, it will be different but it's incredibly low price to be able to do what we're going to be able to do. So let's switch back to the uh, iPad screen. You'll see there that it is the one on the top right that says Remote Keypad and Numpad Pro. Now it says open for me, of course, what it will say for you is get and it will have a price. So if you click on that, do your normal installation. So I'm just going to click on open. It will open for me. Um, for yourselves, you, what you'll need to do is to go in and install that uh, application on your own iPad. There's a purchase price, of course. So just obviously you'll be accepting that to be able to do that. But from then you'll have uh, what I think is a really fantastic application on your iPad or your iPhone that you can use when you're using your Mac and your iPad then becomes a very active device and of course uh, improves the return on investment that you've put into the iPad in itself. So uh, have a look at it that way. So that's your remote numpad and keypad installed. Remember looking at this icon that you see at the top of the screen. So let's then move on to the next thing, which you'll have to do, which is to install the helper app. There'll be a link in the remote keypad software. I'll put that link again in the description of the video. So this is what you're coming to to download that application. The helper app for Mac and Windows is what it's called. That, of course, alludes to the fact that it is available for Windows users. And what you will do, you will download the version that is 
required for your particular installation and your level of Mac OS. Okay, so you'll download the helper app and install it, and then that will allow you to connect your iPad directly to your Mac computers and it will allow you to do everything that we need to do. So there's no, no problems with this. I've used this for many years. So what I'll do is I'll take you to the helper app installed on my Mac and uh, take you just through a couple of the things that once you've installed it, uh, you might want to have a look at. So let's uh, quickly go and find that. The remote helper app appears in the top of your screen it's it's uh, available there and so the icon that you'll see is this one here you should really tick on the ask to grant access for iOS devices I don't use it for the music side of things but you can use this application to control the music uh, screen capture and other things as well I actually don't have those uh, so they're generally turned off. Let me move over to the next thing. So if I click on the done button where it says there's missing permissions, I just carry on and click continue. Uh, we've got preferences. I want to show you as well. So we've got um, auto start on login. I don't really have any other users, so I don't need to turn it on or off for fast user switching these other options I tend to leave on as well so you maybe want to have a look at those for yourselves let's go on again here you can see that you have devices that the application is installed on on your iOS devices so I'm, I've got an iPhone with it on I've got an iPad with it on as well these of course are connected to the same iCloud account but once I've done that then the keypads automatically synchronize between the two uh, devices which is absolutely superb another thing you can do is you can control the actions within the app and open other media sources and control those sort of things as well so that's all very good. I, again, don't really use that side of things, but it is available to you if you want to. You can also then choose to link your device through a QR code, and this is by far the best way of doing it. So uh, if you say show QR code, the reason I've got two on there is that one is a wired Ethernet connection which I have to my computer and the other is the Wi-Fi address on my computer. So you can select those and what will happen is your QR code for your network will show up. Don't do it for mine because it won't work for you. That's why I'm happy showing it to you because it simply won't work for anybody else. The link comes through the application and I'll show you how to do that. So now that I've shown you how to find the QR code, let me show you in the application on the iPad and iPhone where you'd actually use that. So let's switch quickly over to the iPad full screen. So I'll just do that for you now. So on the iPad app, you will go up to the hamburger menu on the top right hand side just shown there with the red arrow I'll just bring this up on the live screen so you can see me doing it on the live iPad you touch the hamburger menu and that brings up another sub menu which includes the settings but what we're going to do here is choose the scan QR code so we will touch that And that automatically turns on your camera on your iOS device, whether it's an iPad or an iPhone. And you simply point that at the QR code that's showing on the Mac that you want to use with remote keypad and numpad pro. And that will automatically then link that with one of your computers. And as you see, I've got a number of computers on the screen that I've already done that with. So that's the scan QR code. The link comes through the application, but this is where the QR code shows itself up. So you show the QR code and that's where you'll find it for uh, the uh, remote keypad application. Normal updating type of things and then support and uh, everything else that you might possibly want. So once you've got those installed, 
that is you set up and you'll be able to use the default blue number pad. If you want to know a little bit more about how I get into being able to program where you've got your own colors and you've got your own specific keys for whatever application that you're going to use, then watch the next videos and I'll show you how to configure the whole thing. Hopefully, if you've liked this, subscribe and like and uh, make sure that you go on to the next video that I've produced so that you can carry on making the very most of your keypad application. Thank you.